Yes, combatants, Noob Cybots trailer is here, so much to jump into, some different season, maybe even an alliance with Liu Kang, but do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me to the future for more content, I'll be right back after this, this trailer is pure hype. Are you ready? I hope you are fond of chaos. Do not try to make sense of it. Anything is possible in Havoc's domain. Allow the Brotherhood of Chaos to help you on your way. Who oppose anarchy, who revere order, will be eliminated. You... you sound like Bihan. Embrace chaos! <laughs> Havoc filled my mind with his chaos. I have learned his thoughts, learned his combat. This is what you are meant to do. I am not allowed to desire a different future. Your desires are not at issue. It is your methods for achieving them. Havoc's will will not be done. The blood spilled today will be yours, not mine. Your new attire suits you. It is as black as your heart. Watch and learn, Kui Liang. Combatants, this trailer was really cool. We got to see Bihan versus well, standing in front of Titan Havoc. And you know, Titan Havoc, the look he's doing is like, come on, pal. Like, he wants him to be noob cyber, he wants his best bud back. So, it's really interesting the way I was approaching um, Bihan. Then, we had a nice look at obviously the other characters, like the best looking version of Tanya that we've gotten in ages, which is Empress Tanya. Why didn't we get this from day one? Because her look looks so perfect and so great. And then we also have a look at Bihan again with the other Brotherhood of Chaos now. And we have Raiden, we have Johnny Cage there. And then in the background, we have Rain and also Kung Lao disappearing. So this is interesting. It's the Brotherhood of Chaos now instead of Shadows. But it will be later on. And then we also have um, Sector very, very depressed and upset because she realizes that's Bihan now. Will she be the one to change his heart? maybe but then when he fights against her you can see he's telling her to embrace the chaos and we can see some mad array of moves that he does like these type of ones you can see he has his um stun ball back and his run shadow which goes really far he also has a lot of bouncy moves for him to go into executive combos that can keep you and the grab move is really cool i like how the shadow is the one that takes care of the whole fighting that's really good 
Then we also had a scene here where Liu Kang and him have a heart to heart, where he's asking Liu Kang, can he not choose his own destiny? And Liu Kang tells him he can, but it's just the way how he acts about that choices he makes in his destiny. You can see that Bihan does not realistically, he doesn't want to go the way how this has gone. Even though he's noob, you can see he misses Kuai Liang and the forces that he had there, Saks and Sector. And you can see that in his eyes, that look right there says a lot. That's like the most realistic look i've seen in the game for a long time it's that look of you're right you are right I, I love that that's so cool and we have a nice array of moves here again lots of teleports the shadow drop everything seeing him do these combos with his actual shadow i'm glad that's a part of his normal move set just like it was an mk11 we have the teleport portals into the top and a quick ex version of the grab which allows him to bounce the character back up because you saw him kind of shine then so that means that was the ex version of his um, portal grab but then you can actually bounce the character back up for more combos now i wonder if this bridge constructs for everybody who walks across or only those filled with chaos like i said look how good empress tanya looks this is one of her best looks i hope they make sure that she carries a look forward going forward in these game universe like that because it looks so much better then we also have these combos like what the heck is going on like what is noob doing the, the amount of moves that he is exactly doing and it seems the shadow can also hold the force ball back as well which seems to be like the ex version of it when he exes it the shadow can hold still and with the um stun ball for you to carry a combo so i like that that's really cool i like all this and then we also had a look at the fatal blow which is really cool i love the way how they both work together here and they jump together with that kick that's insane that she's actually dead like i don't even think there's a need for fatality after that i think genuinely if you got that you are dead it's splitting the whole of the head across which is madness now we have Kwai liang speaking to him as well i don't know where it's going or where it's going with his decisions but it feels like he's trying to gather some way to get back to who he is and it seems maybe just maybe Kwai liang might be the person to actually help noob to actually save him to actually put him back on track maybe you never know with bihan obviously being sub-zero now we also have some more array of moves more mad teleport moves you can see there he did some really cool awesome teleports on the ground as well i don't know if this little low hit also calls forth that teleport there in the the ground the portal but it seems like it does so he's got like different array of portal moves because he dropped him one then again the noob did one then again and then goes into his teleport grab so i can't tell but there's a lot of portal moves but we'll definitely see on the combo back cast now his fatality was good i loved how it went into 2d here as he ran as he ran across like peter pan's shadow it was really awesome he rips out the back and then they come together again for him to tear the character in half and throw him away and the shadow just does the classical go down which looks awesome but yeah and we can see that he's also an alligator in his um animality he's actually an alligator which is an interesting choice for um Bihan. but there's two of them which makes this really awesome now obviously let me know guys what do you think of this trailer was it great are you happy with the noob cyborg gameplay and how he is can you not wait even more for the story and what's going forward with him i know i can't wait he looks awesome but let me know what you think of this and do like subscribe this is your boy future boy and back to future stay frosty peeps peace